We talked before about Islam fire charts, blah blah blah. Yeah. I told you, Islam gonna take him to the deep ocean and make him tap. I told him, nothing against Charles Oliveira, but Islam on another level. Yeah. Just people have to understand. Yeah. yeah, they have to understand. Islam is very good. I told you. Islam had this confidence and belief about himself that you just weren't gonna take him down. It didn't matter who was wrestling with him. It didn't matter if it was me, if it was Kane, if it was Luke Rockhold, if it was Habib. He just thought that he wasn't gonna get taken down by it. It didn't matter that you were the more credentialed guy or the better guy. He had this belief that you couldn't take him down. This dude has one of the most difficult legs. He always said that, and I'll make a YouTube short about this, where he goes, take this leg. This leg cannot be scored on. It's his, it's his right leg. He keeps it in front. He fights southpaw. It's so hard to take him down when you get to the single. Defensively, he's as hard as anyone to take down. Islam's choke must be otherworldly. Yeah. It must be otherworldly. To do that to Charles? Not just Fuck. that. Like, the moment he's passing, Charles is tapping. Yeah. Like, his squeeze has got to be off the fucking charts. I talked to DC about it. And I said, hey man, um, I go, his fucking squeeze must, he goes, oh, dope. I had him demonstrate a choke on me. And I thought I was gonna, it was gonna be fun. He like, show me how you do that, show me how you do that. He goes, dude, Fuck. when he grabbed a hold of me, I was like, oh shit, this guy's gonna choke me. And that's DC. Yeah. But it's once he passes, that's Charles, Charles just taps. Yeah. The most submissions in the history of the UFC. And he taps like that. Yeah. I guess, impressed with his win over Charles Oliveira? Oh yeah, yeah, he does his thing, he does his thing. Gosh, I don't know if I should do this. Do it. But I'm so real. I'm the realest, okay? I was around on my YouTube, right? And I found this little video, and it said Islam had a little trouble with drugs. But I don't see people talking about him. And so he was saying when he first came over that his school that he, he trained at in Russia, they just gave him vitamins, you know? They've been doing this since, since who knows when, when you start training. Imagine if you gave someone steroids from the age of... 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, how strong you would be. People were like, like, he was really strong. It makes sense now. There's two people that I moved around with, I'm not gonna say their names, but I was like, that's interesting. I moved with thousands of guys. That was interesting. I told my coach the same thing. There was something interesting about Islam. I felt it. I'm like, it's just not human. It makes sense. If I could do drugs, like, cause our countries are different. Russia's been banned. For, for the Olympics, you know? In the post and stuff, oh, you picked against Islam. Yeah, because Charles had fought the better people and I thought Charles was going to win. Can't I have a prediction anymore? People saying you haven't given props to Islam. I have. He looked unbelievable that night. He absolutely dominated Charles. I would have put up a better fight than Charles did that night, to be honest. But um, in base, Volk's going to be a scrap. Volk, Volk, especially if Volk's power transfers up to 155, because probably going to have a speed advantage and his cardio is going to hold up even more because he's moving up weight. So it's a very interesting fight. I'm looking forward to watching it, to be honest.